what are the most common reasons for a spousal visa denial? Okay, so um, the number one reason uh, that, that, that trips people up would be finances. Um, now, let me say most most are approved. Certainly, um, if they're done, you know, if the if they're not defective in the submission itself. So most people, when they answer this question, they, what they really mean is, if I do everything right, I, I, I'm, I completely or improperly prepare the paperwork or have somebody like Grab Visa prepare the paperwork, what are my odds? That that would be one way to answer the question or ask it. And, uh, the, and then the other is, of course, the overall approval rate, meaning people who don't do it correctly and don't apply correctly, obviously, are going to be denied. But among the people who apply correctly, finances are what give people in the most trouble. You do have to meet at the income requirements, 100, 125% of the poverty level for most people. And um, you can use a joint sponsor, and there's things you can try to do if your income is light, but that is a, a problem, the number one problem we see people have. Now, once you once you go down from there, the odds are, or the reasons drop way off. That's, that's gonna be by far the biggest mm -hmm. trouble people have. And then way on down the list somewhere, you run into things like uh, the consular officer didn't believe the relationship was real and uh, that one is uh, that that one's tough I'll, I'll tell you in our experience though if you do have a legitimate relationship and you've got a little time in it um, you know approaching a year is what I would call a little time you're probably not going to have any problem but every once in a while we see that one but again far and away it's the finances uh, you know and then there's dozens of other obscure reasons uh, criminal convictions, all that, but that stuff's so far down the list that really uh, it's not going to apply to most.